Robert Maplethorpe has always produced portraits right from the beginning, since the 1970s. I think at this time of his life, in 1980, he was certainly well established, he had seminal relationships in his life, he had met the right dealers, he had a big gallery. Um, he was certainly a, a, a prominent figure in, in the photo world. I think for him the portrait has always been a way of exploration, of revealing and taking a risk but also very much a way of saying, I'm here, I'm present. Susan Sontag said she felt that he took portraits to show his own confidence. I think he, he sort of pioneered, in a way, a 1960s formalism. And it, it's, it's, it's kind of a polarity that exists in his work, because on one side, you have something that's very exact and definite, but then you're all sort of taking a risk at the same time. Maplethorpe was always interested in both sides. He was always a contradiction. On the one side, you have someone who's a sort of dandy in a way, and on the other side, a sort of kind of hardcore rock star figure. But everything has the same sort of intensity. I mean, he, he's interested in life, and he puts himself in those situations and views them with the same kind of eye, but he always has a sort of 19th century aesthetic. I don't think Maplethorpe is a narcissist. I think he is someone who uses the camera as a mirror. Um, you know, Christopher Isherwood said, I am camera, and this is the same kind of thing with Maplethorpe. It's just a vehicle to reflect back his subject, and there's a kind of definite, a compelling strength that you see in the portraits, especially, and there's, also a very sort of tender emotion that comes from the portrait. I just think he, he takes photography very seriously. He's one of the first people to say, you know, painting's dead. Long live photography.